Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at setting up your iFi card with your Next 7 to automatically wirelessly transfer images to a computer on your network. So I have my iFi card plugged in. It's called No Name here. You can see it shows up that it's connected. I'm going to click the settings here. This is going to pop up the settings where you can choose you add your networks and then photos, raw, and video, basically they're the same thing. Photos is for JPEGs, raw files for raw files, videos for video. All of these three on my computer are set up with the same. I want to upload all photos to this folder, and I don't want to create any subfolders. All three of those are set the same. Then jump over to transfer mode, set that to automatic. and that's all you have to do click save so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this card into my camera so I'll just eject it right now plug this into my next seven turn my camera on one thing to notice on your camera there is an iFi excuse me start over one thing to notice in your camera, there's an iFi menu. Okay? It's under the settings menu. Okay? And it's towards, I believe, the bottom. Let me jump down. Yeah. Okay. iFi setup, upload settings. Make sure that's turned on. And then you are good to go. I'm going to jump over to JPEG mode here, just uh, quick so it's a little faster. And you should see momentarily a JPEG image start jumping in. Usually the first one takes just a bit longer. And here's my iFi folder so we can see that. So my, there it is, there's our JPEG coming in. Now this is going through a standard Wi-Fi network. I have an Airport Extreme here and that's what is floating through. My Airport Extreme is actually this building's a very large building. It's over a hundred feet away, but you can see I just I can shoot away. I don't have to think about this anymore. I can shoot while they're coming in. I don't have to wait for anything. I can change camera settings. I can change file formats. Here I'll shoot a raw file, and the images just come in. You can see them kind of like they're dropping out of the sky in the corner of that um, corner of the screen there. And they'll pause a little bit here and there, but they'll just keep coming in. So that's fantastic. Here's a raw file. You can see it goes a little bit slower. And I'm going to show you a quick trip trick here to speed this up just a little bit. At least in my, my experience, it's a little bit faster if you set your card up to work on your computer's created ad hoc network and there's one gotcha here I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna create a network and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera off while I'm doing that just so it research it'll search again for everything okay the computer has made the network so let's turn the camera back on and take another image now this is a raw file again I'll shoot I'll do two here so we can get a overall average of how long they take to come in now as soon as we get this working, I'm going to open up Lightroom and show you how we've got the auto import set up for that. You can see I don't have Lightroom running wherever I keep it down here. Oh, there it is. So it's not running right now. So here's our first RAW file. You notice it's just the numbers are counting up just a little bit faster than they did before. And it's enough faster that if I have the option, if I'm doing a dedicated shoot, and clients are going to be viewing these pictures as I shoot I want to let them come in. Now see this thing pops up? I have the iFi helper set to geotag my photos. Now this menu comes up because it no longer has Wi-Fi access to the internet. And it's saying click yes to deliver pictures without click no to wait. If I click no it's not going to deliver the pictures to my folder so I've got to click yes here. That's a gotcha that'll just I want to let you know so it doesn't throw you off here. So let's jump open Lightroom. 
and we'll look at how to watch that folder. And you'll actually see these images start coming in here. All right, so under the file menu, you have auto import. And you can see it's enabled. That's why those images in that folder are coming in. Let's take a look at the auto import settings. You can see it's enabled. This is the same folder that I pointed my iFi card to in the iFi setup. This is where I want to move my pictures to, and this is the subfolder I want them to go to. You can see I can actually change this if I want to a different folder whenever I want to. And then I can choose a subfolder. You can have a develop setting. If you're going to show this to clients, you want to get all set, get uh, sharpening, any lens correction, tweak your white balance so it's just perfect, save it as a preset, and then you can use it as they come in. You can also set your metadata if you want to copyright, and then how big a previews you want to make as they come in. So I'm going to click OK, and now I'll take another picture. OK, I'm going to take a picture of my computer with the screen. So this is a raw file. We'll see that come in. It'll float right through the air here. And notice I changed folders. It should be inside this Lightroom Images folder now. So let's see what happens when this next image comes in. OK, you'll notice it made a new folder right here. OK, now so here's how I set up my uh, Lightroom when I have uh, somebody viewing it. You could have uh, multiple screens if you want, but I'll act like we just have one screen. Maybe we have it mirrored to a, a TV of some kind. I want to pretty much make this uh, as minimal as possible. I'll probably want my company name to show up still. I'm in library mode, and I just hit the space bar to go full screen. And usually I'll hit tab right there, just like that. Okay? And it should work that every time you take a picture, it'll go to the newest photo. We'll switch this back to JPEG just so things come in a little quicker. And I'll take a picture of this water bottle here so we know which one's in. And that's the order they're coming in. You can see the the raw files come in fast enough really that it's okay uh, especially if you're not shooting at 100 miles an hour. JPEG zip in really fast. Alternatively, you could set up your iFi card to leave the raw files on the card and just send a JPEG over for preview purposes. This goes really fast. And you, there's no waiting on the part of the client. So if you have an art director that's standing there, breathing down your neck, and just wants a quick JPEG, well, shoot raw plus JPEG, but set your iFi card settings to only deliver JPEG files. That way you can shoot, you can shoot like crazy. Let's see, I'll turn this to high speed. So there's a bunch of shots. Let's see what happens here. You see, they just come in real fast. And that would be a way to, and I just was shooting JPEGs there, but you get the idea. This is how fast the JPEGs would come in. So that's pretty much it, folks. Get your iFi card set up. And for me, I leave it, I like to transfer the raw files. I pretty much leave this card set up the way it is all the time. Uh, no matter what network I'm on or where I am, if I'm at a new on-site location, I pop this card in, create a network on my laptop, and I'm instantly shooting to my computer wirelessly. No muss, no fuss, ready to go. Just don't turn your camera off, shoot away, enjoy the freedom of seeing your images on the big screen. Hey, thanks for watching. Check out reflectedpixel.com uh, for more information.